Moulton here from UTV. I wanted to show you how you can export your world from a, a Mac device and open it, open that world on an iPad. So what I've basically done is I've gone in and grabbed one of these worlds and it's a simple case of actually clicking and creating world. And basically that's the way that it comes into your worlds. So I'm just going to uh, get out of that. I'm just going to get out of that and go back to my worlds just so that you can see. So if I go back to save and exit, and we'll save and exit that one. And if I go into my worlds, you'll see it's sitting there. So if I grab Fantastic Mr. Fox and I go to settings, I can now go down the bottom and it gives me an opportunity to export my world. So if I call this Mr. Fox, I'm just going to do version one in case I've got another one. If I save that to my desktop, there's a couple of ways we can actually do it. So if I just minimize that for a second, you can see here I've got that file there. Now it's really, really easy to use. If you're on a Mac and you're going to iPad, you can very quickly airdrop that to your device, say your iPad. But the key is making sure that you've logged into your Microsoft app and it's on the screen for it to actually open that world. So I'm gonna show you now, I'm gonna jump over to my iPad and show you how to do it. The other way is you could actually go to something like Google Drive, for example. So I might just drag that in so I can show you both versions. If I drag that NC World file, that Microsoft Word file over, and you can see it's taking a little while to upload, I will now show you on the iPad what you need to do. There's a little trick to it, so bear with me, everyone. So I'm now on my iPad, and if I try to airdrop that over, as long as I've logged in and I'm on this page, it should work. So if I airdrop that over to my iPad now, it should give me an option of actually just importing it straight away. So that's the easiest way to do with an airdrop from Mac to iPad. So that's really, really easy to do. So that'll take a little while to load up, but there is another way. I'll just make sure that goes through. Yep, looks like Mr. Fox has actually opened up there. So that's looking pretty good. Now, if I actually close that down and open it again, I did want to show you the other way, which was through Google Drive. So you've saved it to some sort of cloud-based storage and we want to open it up from here. Now there's a little bit of a trick to it. Because if I jump into my Google Drive app, what's going to happen is that um, it's going to actually shut the other app down from logging in. So I need a little trick. So what I'm going to do, drag my finger up from the bottom on a split screen. I'm going to open up my Google Drive on a shared doc, on a, sorry, on a split screen. Then I'm going to hit my three little dots three little dots and I'm going to open that. It's preparing to export. So it's getting it from Google Drive and it might take a little while to do that. And then I'm gonna copy that to Minecraft. Now, the reason why I did it in a split screen is because for me, it shuts the app down and it won't transfer over if I haven't logged in, if I haven't signed in. So that's kind of the little trick is making sure that you do that. Now, if it doesn't come up the top as one of your apps, right at the top here, just press more and you're looking down for copy to Minecraft education edition. So when you do that, you can see that's loading up beautifully. I can press done there, I think, and actually get rid of my split screen. And as that's going, you can see that's opened up beautifully. So there's a couple of ways that'll work with Google Drive and Dropbox and a range of different things, but that's just one way of getting your Minecraft world exported as a Minecraft world and over to your iPad. Paul Hamilton here from UTB signing off.